if you think of sustainable development as being development in which human well-being does not decline, then that's the answer. Um, and since natural capital is essential for our, not just for our survival, but for our all the activities that we enjoy uh, undertaking, uh, it's essential that some aspects, some crucial part of nature flourishes. Obviously, some parts of nature will be transformed and has been transformed throughout history, ever since animals roamed uh, so the savannas, nature was transformed slightly. But we are doing that now in a massive way. So we are over seven billion of us. And uh, we have knowledge to do enormous damage or enormous transformations. We can affect huge transformations of the landscape if we so desire, without much trouble, without much uh, sweat. So, and if those transformations are not priced when we transform them, it's the cost of the transformation, if that is not taken into account, then we are likely to overdo it. And if we overdo it, we could jeopardize our children's, grandchildren's standard of living, their well-being. So that is why we are interested in maintaining the, or we should be interested in maintaining the nature in some form that enables humans to survive. Now, of course, you could have religious views or philosophical views which say to hell with humans. Nature has a value of its own. I'm taking a very, very, very deliberately, I'm taking a very anthropomorphic position here. As a minimum, we should be concerned about it because it matters to us.